see you've been training a lot across the country. Uh, it feels amazing, though. This is home. Just being around you know, the teammates, the former guys that was here. So just having that, that brotherhood again, just getting that feeling is, is fun to be around. How do you feel the last couple months getting ready for the draft? What's Where is your body at? How do you feel? Yeah, I feel great. I'm winning at 245. I'm just in body fit. So I locked in my nutrition. And I locked in my football. Everything I needed to work on with my weaknesses. And I just didn't focus on that. for making that anything. You get a, main, a chance to talk to a lot of different teams. What are they getting if they pick you? What kind of a player are you in the NFL franchise? Uh, they're getting a great guy. The high schools are going to be a great guy. They're going to get off the ball, bend, and be able to listen to everything. Chop, you had you turned a lot of heads at the combine. Uh, what was working for you there, and what was the experience like just performing um, on that stage? Uh, honestly, just training, you know, just taking training seriously, and just taking it one day at a time, and focusing on every little detail, and just taking it one day at a time, and that, that helped me get to where I am today. Chop, what was it like to go through those workouts with a decent on your side? Uh, it was good, you know, having having a teammate, the brother that you just know this year, and knowing that you know, he could coach me up on your thing and having coach me up, just having him and being able to come back to him. When I So when I finished, I looked up and I didn't see the time. So I was walking back. I seen the visa and the guys on the train with the head so just clapping and so happy for me. And I knew, I knew I did something good. I was excited. How much of a relief was it to, to get that out of the way? I'm sure your whole life you were probably dreaming about that moment and then to, to get it out of the way and do so well. Uh, it, it was good, you know, having long days, you know, you're waking up at 6 and then you're not back to your room till 11 and you got to wake up at 6 again the next day. So just getting through them days and then being able to test, and you know, you train for it for your whole life. So it's, it's really nothing, just another day. So the training part wasn't wasn't bad. You know, already, I was already used to it and I knew what I could do. But getting them interviews over with was definitely like a, the longest process. Did it get tiring when everyone kept asking you to get anything <laughs> Yeah, it was getting a little tiring, but I'm pretty sure everybody was, was uh, you know, wondering if I got my name. Chuck, I think you traded in 255 today. Have teams talked to you about position versatility, or are you pretty adamant about your edge rush? Uh, they see me as an outside linebacker, defensive end, so it really depends on the team I go to. I may be in the four down front or three down front, so it really depends on where I go. You've moved around. What do you think about Abdul making that move? I feel like that's a good move for him because he just, you know, he's so natural as a pass rusher and just an athlete. So when he get, you know, with Dion and just working on little details or finishes, uh, you know, as a player, it would be unstoppable. Have you talked to him about making that transition? Because you kind of did the same thing coming from Maryland. Yeah, I talked to him. You know, he's he's a natural pass rusher anyway because he was coming with blitzes and stuff like that with Coach Manning. So it's, it's something he already used to is just being, you know, on the line of scrimmage every single play. What is the biggest difference between blitzing and rushing off the edge and being on? Uh, I wouldn't say it's a big difference. You know, the only difference is, you know, you're coming from depth and you're going to get more speed, get to the, uh, the quarterback with offensive alignment. But when you're on the line, you just you just got to get off fast and the person is right in front of you. So that's the biggest difference right there. Chop, what did you say about Chop and his staff that you know they perform well and Dio and other guys who perform so well? I mean, just paying attention to everything that goes through the coaches and all the guys, you know, telling us, really getting into detail with everything, being coachable as we do. Listening to those guys, taking all the information they give us and just running with it. Did you talk to Coach Manny at all through this process? Yeah, I talked to Manny before the combine and after he was saying congratulations and good luck and stuff like that. So me and Manny still have a good luck. How about the best to keep in touch? Uh, we talk here and there. You know, he's busy being a head coach now, so we talk with him if we can. I see you did have to on that. I actually called him right after the combine. He was just so excited for me. He was so happy. He said, I listened to you in my dreams and I had to do it 40 times, but he was just so happy. He Shout chose to transfer here. What has Penn State done for you personally as a, as a player as well? And how do you want to be remembered here? Uh, honestly, Penn State changed my life. You know, being here with Coach Franklin and being around all the guys, just guys with the same mindset as you. You know, it's only one way to get out of it, and that's greatness. So just being around those guys and having Coach Dion just pushing you, is, it's, a, it's a blessing because you don't really get that from you know, everywhere else. So just coming here and just enjoying every single moment, being with my teammates, being with the coaches, the staff. It's a blessing. And how do you want to be remembered here? I want to be remembered as you know the guy that has the, the best get off, the best bend, and just being that goofy teammate and just showing love to all my teammates. I love all the guys here. I'm just the best player, the best man I could be.
Chop, I know you said you don't pay attention to mock drafts and stuff, and you said you don't look at a player. Uh, do you think you're a first round pick? 100%. Why? I mean, I'm a guy who shows up every single day, gives everything I got, and I'm consistent with everything I do. Uh, I got the best get off and the best men, and there's nobody that could, you know, you can't teach that. That's very natural to me. Chop, do you know what you're going to do for the draft yet? Uh, I'm going to the draft. If I get invited. Uh, if you don't get invited, just I'll, I'll be at home with my family. I was gonna. I was gonna ask. Chop, have you, have you yeah. talked to any teams yet? Have you, have you met with any teams? <laughs> it was crazy. Uh, uh, yeah, I had a talk very busy with the teams. Showing up every single day, being the same guy. So I definitely really got a chance for him to show up every single day and be the same guy. You guys still keep in touch? Of course, we talk every single day, play the game together. What do you tell him? What advice do you give him? Uh, honestly, just keep being consistent. Mm -hmm. You know, give everything he got, and that's what he's been doing since he came in here, being behind, you know, the guys that was in front of him. So he was the same guy every single day. He never changed, so he doesn't have to change anything. What do you think uh, we're going to learn about him this coming year that uh, maybe we don't know yet? Uh, honestly. It's him being that guy. You know, he, he shows up every single day. Uh, he outworks everybody. He try to push everybody. He's a leader. Uh, him being a young guy, but being so mature, he's like a he kind of got an old soul, and that's the that's the good thing about him because he's different from everybody else. Chop with the draft being a month away. Are, are you excited for this process to be to be kind of wrapped up? And really, like, is it has it been exhausting this whole thing, or you've been enjoying it you know, uh, from I, the combines, everything else? Yeah, I've been enjoying it. You know, it's a. A dream as a kid, so you got to cherish every moment because you know you don't really get this. You only get this one time, so you got to cherish every moment and take it one day at a time. What what will it mean to you to hear your name called to, to see it on TV? It will mean everything. Uh, you know, I've been I've been playing football since five years old. My dad been pushing me since five years old. I, I fell in love with the game as a as a kid. So just you know, chasing that dream and watching older guys, watching former teammates, being in NFL, watching them on TV. It's just a blessing knowing that I could be there next. Jalen took over your 44 uh, here. What, what does that mean to you? What what do you think we'll learn about him uh, yeah. so far? Yeah, so Jalen's going to be a great player. You know, once he once he mature a little bit and uh, just stick stick with Dion and learn from the other guys like Denai, Hakeem, Devon, follow their routine. I think he'll be a, a great player because them guys have a great routine. They chase greatness and they push him. So that's a good thing for him. What about your male job? Sorry, I was mad about <laughs> Jamel Lyons. But yeah, he, yeah. Jamel's going to be a, a crazy player. He's going to be a great player. Uh, he matured, you know, his first year here, got into the playbook, learned everything. So I think if he just shows up and be the same guy that he was, you know, when he first got in here, he'll be a good hand. Chuck, what's been the most surprising, what's been the most surprising part of this process? Because obviously you're only going to go through it once. What's surprised you most? Well, I'll say how long the, you know, the interviews are. It's the yeah. same team, so back to back. It's not, it's not, it's only like a 20 minute meeting, but it feels like, you know, two days because there's so many teams back to back. But I would say that was the most surprising. Is there a weird or unique question that you got asked during that process? It's like, man, what are they trying to figure out? No, it was, it was really all ball. Okay. That was the only thing. It's all the plays and repeating it back to them. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Shop. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Shop. Thanks, Shop.